Hello, this is Carl King with another hybrid podcast slash blog. It's sort of a blog cast, if you will, as it were, as such, and so on and so forth ad nauseum. If you like hearing Carl King talking to you, consider supporting all of my creative projects through Patreon. I upload rough mixes, stems, music notation, journals, and other behind-the-scenes materials for members only. And that's at patreon.com slash carlking. In this episode, I'll first give you a Carl King life update. And then I've got two new Carl King things for you to go and look at. One is a new website I'm launching and testing, and the other is a blog I wrote for drummers. And at the end of this podcast, I'll finish up by answering the simple question from a reader, what is creativity? And that should be no problem to answer, right? Sounds easy. So let's start with that Carl King life update. COVID or no COVID, it's important for me to get out of the house, away from my home office and walk around, be in nature, look at the trees. I try to empty my mind and stop thinking about problems, stop thinking about work. I try to get out of my head and use my senses and just connect with the physical world around me rather than kind of living in the matrix. As I've said before, I like to do daily 30 minute walks during the daylight hours because every time I do, two things happen. One, I feel better mentally and physically. Two, creative ideas start flowing. If you're like me and you feel stuck at your computer, try going outside for 15 or 30 minutes. Even if it's cold where you live, some outdoor time is good for you. So be a hippie. Feel the air. Listen to the birds. Be in the present moment. It's good stuff. And real quick before I move on, I have so far lost six of the 20 pounds I put on since March. So congratulations to me. Let's keep that going. Next, I have two things for you to look at. Hey, who wants to go look at things? Here's the first one. I've soft launched a new website called creativemusician.com. Over there, I've posted a 13-minute Q&A video called How to Come Up with Musical Ideas. And I think it's a good one. I've also uploaded the three-hour making of Carl King's Grand Architects of the Universe documentary. And both of those videos are included in the low subscription price of $4.99 a month. That's $4.99 per month, not $499 a month. Although, maybe that's a good idea. Anyway, I plan to add more content regularly. But I'm just testing this concept to see how much work is involved and whether there's an audience for it. So go check it out, creativemusician.com. And here's the second thing for you to look at. You ready for this? I've posted a pretty long blog on my site called Three Ways You Can Be a More Creative Drummer. And it references clips of Virgil Donati, Thomas Lang, Annika Nillis, Travis Orban, and many more. Too many more, maybe. You can find that at carlkingdom.com slash blog. So go read it and let me know what you think. Also, sorry about the horrible blog layout over there at the moment. It should be completely redesigned by next week. Now, on to answering this week's question, which was submitted by Nils Rurak, purveyor of delicious mayonnaise and smooth jazz metal. He asks, quote, I would like to hear your thoughts on the creative process and the underlying emotional state of mind. I don't understand any of it, and I'm a fairly creative person. I can tell you all about what kind of music I write, what I do in a song, or what theorem I apply in a solo, but I can't tell you why I get ideas in my head and when I do." Nils, I can confirm that you are a fairly creative person. And I think your question can be condensed to, what is creativity? So that's the question I'm going to answer here. To be fair, I'm not a professional scientist, so I can only tell you the Carl King point of view. First of all, to get a little bit philosophical, I actually believe we have no free will. I think free will is an illusion, and we're all just watching a movie here. Kind of tricked into thinking that we're in control. If I observe my own actions, I don't really have conscious control over anything I do. For instance, if I'm asked to think of a three-syllable word, spaghetti pops into my mind. 
But why? Did I consciously choose spaghetti? No, my subconscious did. If I were to somehow choose spaghetti, that would require seeing the entire list of three-syllable words, going through them and evaluating. And that would take, what, like hours or days? But no, this happened in an instant. So I can't honestly take credit for it and call it free will. You can try this experiment yourself like I do. If I really pay attention, every thought I have simply emerges. Even the words I'm saying right now, well, I mean, these are all read from a script, but it was even the words I'm typing here in the script. If you've ever tried meditation, you'll find that in your mind there's this endless chaos with thoughts, images, and sounds generated at random. It's just one thing after the next. Now, I can attempt to premeditate an action, but what causes me to try to do that? Because I didn't premeditate to premeditate it. It's really like an endless chain of consequences. So if I believe in cause and effect, everything I do was caused by something else. How could my consciousness escape cause and effect and initiate a cause out of nothing? And why would my consciousness be the only thing that can initiate its own cause? Maybe it's all effects, all of our behavior, everything that happens in the universe, possibly leading all the way back to the Big Bang. But what caused that? Well, I don't know. As I said, I am not a scientist. But as an atheist, that's what makes sense to me. And I'm okay with that. And I suppose I have no choice but to be okay with that. This is all to get around to this idea that creativity can be simply listening to your subconscious. Listening internally for the music to happen. And this is something called audiation. It's the process of mentally hearing music like melodies and harmonies. And to be honest, I am not so great at it. And what I mean is my internal understanding of pitch and harmony is pretty crappy. So for me, it's mostly rhythms. I can listen to crazy drum solos all day long in my mind, generated freely out of the gibberish. I guess that's why I'm so drawn towards that area of musical expression. Sometimes you meet people who have endless creativity that they can't even control. I think someone like John Schnapp was lucky that he had such immediate access to endless creative imagery. It was like a bizarro movie was happening in his head 24 hours a day, and all he had to do was describe it to others by turning it into cartoons. Frank Zappa also seemed to have an entertaining subconscious like that, and there was no shortage of funny ideas there either. Outside of plucking ideas from our own subconscious, there are also methods we can use for creativity because it can actually be a systematic process. I recommend this thing called the Creative Thinker's Toolkit. It's a 12-hour lecture series with tools you can use to generate new ideas. You can find it either through Audible or The Great Courses, so go look that up. One last thing I'll suggest before wrapping up. It sure does help me to be in a good mood when I'm trying to make music. If I happen to be worried and distracted by major problems, it's probably not the right time. I suggest setting yourself up with a time and place for making music like I do. For instance, before I do any composing, I like to take care of any tasks that might nag me. If I'm hungry or thirsty or the room is a mess or there's an errand to run, I get those distractions out of the way quickly so I can then focus for a few hours. But if you can't get a few hours, try to get as much uninterrupted time as you can. On that topic, I recommend reading Cal Newport's books if you haven't yet. Here are three of the titles, and you can find links to them in my blog. Number one, So Good They Can't Ignore You. Number two, Deep Work. Number three, Digital Minimalism. And he has another one coming out soon called A World Without Email. And I'm looking forward to reading that. He also has an awesome podcast that inspired this podcast called Deep Questions with Cal Newport. So look that up. Okay, that's it for this episode of the Carl King podcast blog experiment. I tried to keep it shorter this time and focus mostly on one topic, and I hope you appreciated that. If you didn't, please let me know. And to support the further making of this content, join my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Carl King. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in an upcoming episode, you can email ask at carlkingdom.com.